welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Sip and Thrift, which is my favorite little series that I do here on YouTube. And it's where together we go on some sort of thrifting adventure, but we also stop to get something caffeinated along the way. And today I have an idea for Sip and Thrift that is very unlike anything I've ever done. Might be a long episode because there's a lot of moving parts. Hopefully it'll be very interesting though because I'm combining everything people typically love on YouTube, which is a closet clean out, a thrift shopping experience, and then a try on haul all at once. How I'm going to do that, we have a crossroads here in Pasadena, which something similar to crossroads that's a little more widespread is Buffalo Exchange. And they're like a secondhand store. They're pretty picky about what they take from people. They don't just take donations. People sell them their clothes. You can go in and be like, this is a very elementary example, but be like, hey, do you want to buy this shirt? I bought it for $40. And they'll be like, sure, I think we could sell it for $10. So you can either have $5 or $7 in store credit. I just want to, you know, find pieces that either I've already worn a lot and I'm kind of over or I have too many similar things, or I thought that I would really love them and then just the practicality of it, whether that be like a high slit on some things or like it was a little too tight or whatever, just didn't quite work out. It'll be very interesting to see what they decide to buy from me, how much store credit I get, and then what I can in turn get out of the items that I give to them. And let's go ahead and not waste any more time. Let's go through my closet. What do you say? Let's do it. Okay, I really have no game plan as to what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of today, but I do want to try to get rid of things that I think they will buy and the things that, I'm not very sentimental about clothes, so um, the way I see it is even if I like something, maybe I can exchange it for something I love. And it's better for me to have fewer things that I love than more things that I like. You know what I mean? So that's the mentality I'm going to go with today. I'm gonna start at the beginning, love, love. I just like this. And I feel like I could get something that I like more. I have had this for like five years, which is insane. It's Banana Republic, which might not be a brand they love, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and see if they buy it. I just like this. I don't know if this is their vibe at all. I think I got this at Marshalls, maybe? So pretty cheap, so it's not a, they like brands a lot there. It's not a brand that I think that they would necessarily love, but it is the season, so they might buy it. This is very similar to that last one, but I like this one more simply because it's softer. So now I'm definitely glad I got rid of that last one. This is one sweater that I got recently. It's also Banana Republic. I found it at Goodwill and I really love the concept of it. It's Italian Merino blend wool, but it is a little too tight on me after wearing it all day. And it's something that you don't realize when you try it on, but you realize when you wear it all day. So I doubt they'll buy it, but if they do, Maybe I'll get something better. Okay, this will be interesting because I actually bought this from Crossroads. So it'll be very interesting to see if they buy it back. There's no brand. It's very cute. It's cropped. The only reason I don't like it is the something about the sleeves stick out really far naturally and make me look very broad, like my shoulders. So the concept's so cute, but just after like wearing it all day and you seeing yourself in mirrors, I was like, this isn't the most flattering. Let's see if they buy it back. <laughs> I think it's time to get rid of this. I've held on to this just for auditions, but I have more professional shirts now. It's a made well, it ties. It's kind of professional. It's simple. I bought it a while ago. It's still kind of in style I just have no need for it. So let's see. Okay I'm gonna get rid of this and I feel like they should buy it because it's still very in style. It's Urban Outfitters I have one I like better though that I got from Goodwill Which is also Urban Outfitters and the reason I like this better is the V is not as deep this V is super deep and I'm constantly trying to struggle to keep it up. Okay, this is, I think I'm gonna see if they buy it simply as a tech. And it's gonna be hard for me to actually figure out what they buy because they just give you your bag of clothes back. But I do like this and I have worn it quite a few times. I got this at Goodwill for so cheap. The brand does nothing that I recognize, but I'm just curious to see if they, if I could like almost make a profit off of something that I bought at Goodwill by selling it to a nicer consignment store. Another thing that I cropped and I cropped it too far. It was a little too long, so I cropped it a little more and I should have done somewhere in the middle, but it's cotton on, it's the season. It was cropped by me and I don't know if that 
completely makes it a no-go for them, but we'll see. Okay, I've held on to this for so long, I don't know if they're gonna buy it because it kind of is a couple years ago. I really like the way it looks on me, I just don't really like the colors or the pattern anymore, but it is Free People. But they have passed on some Free People things that I've brought in in the past. And a lot of these things too, since I still like them, if they don't buy them, I might just still hang on to them, you know? Oh, my cashmere sweater, I forgot about this. I need to put this by my sweater so that I wear it. Here's another Free People test. I bought this at Goodwill as well during my Free People uh, sip and thrift and I really loved it But I had a lot of people comment saying that they really hated it And then I think they got in my head and I just never wore it don't listen to the haters online But I just ugh, they just kind of got in my head. So I'm gonna see if that they if they buy it It's really nice. It's long sleeve. It's in season. It's free people. I am moving on to the dresses side Come on with me down here. This is a cute dress. It's lush. I think I got it from Nordstrom Rack, I think. But something about the color, like I feel like I would only actually wear this on maybe like Easter Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a better dress for it. This will be an interesting test because I got this at a flea market and I like it. I just don't love it. I think I never wore it only because it's kind of sheer and it's kind of shapeless. If they don't buy it, I'll keep it and I'll try to style it a way that I really do love it. Maybe like belted, maybe with a sweater over it, I don't know. But I'm just gonna see if they if they like it at all. Okay, I just bought this. I just bought this at a sip and thrift and I styled it with my grandma's belt and it was really cute, but I washed it and it shrunk. And now I think it's a little too mini for me. Like it just shows a little too much. It's blue and gray. It's a really cute store. It's actually like on our main street here in Pasadena, right near where the crossroads is. So they might like it, they might buy it. Okay, this is another interesting test. Um, this I bought from them with Anna and Kaylise. It'll be interesting to see if they buy it back. I have altered it, but I feel kind of bad doing this. There is a little, a little hole in it. And just knowing myself, I don't know if I have the time or will make the time to go and fix the hole. But this has been taken in, so I bet you they won't buy it. It's made well. If they don't buy it, I'll find a way to fix the hole. If they do buy it, maybe they will fix it. I don't know. I don't know what they, I know they look for a good condition, but I don't know if they really like something, if they have people that will fix it. It'll just be interesting to see. This is another dress that I like. I just have gotten so used to midi length dresses that when something's mini, I just feel kind of uncomfortable. I don't know. So I'm gonna see, I, I bought this from Goodwill as well, but it's very fall, so I feel like they might actually be interested in it. We'll just see what happens. This is a skirt, it's Flynn and Sky, and I actually just recently bought a skirt that is very, very similar to this. I love black with floral prints, can you tell? I have a lot of things like this. Um, the only reason that I think I wanna keep the very similar one that I got more than this one is this one has a slit that is pretty aggressive, like it goes all the way up. So um, I have to like safety pin it in several spots and then it still kind of like gapes and shows holes and it's just a little too much for me. I'm gonna see if they like it. Okay, I got this when I was a personal assistant once upon a time. My boss would get very cool clothes and then I would get it. And it is pretty edgy, it's pretty cool. The brand is Lambert, which I think is a nice brand. It's just too edgy and too cool for me. I feel like they would like this, but it's so dependent on the person looking at the clothes. That concludes all of the clothes. I'm going to package them all up and count the total amount so that we can then count later and see how many things they bought. Okay, here is the final haul that I'm going to take to them. That's 19 pieces. Can you help me remember that? I'm also gonna see if I can find a duffel bag I can fit it all into. I normally take things to them in like a big trash bag, but I'm wondering if I take it to them in like a nicer bag, if that will trick them into being like, ah, oh, these are worth more instead of, ah, oh, these are trash, you know? So 19 things, let's pack it up, let's go on over, let's see what they buy and how much value I have to spend in store. I fit everything into two duffel bags, let's go ahead and head on out and see what they buy. Well, in an interesting change of events, Brooke accidentally has my car key at work, but I'm thinking about walking. It's like a 20 minute walk with two bags of clothes. Could be interesting. I just really gotta stay on top of work this week. So uh, let's walk, I guess. All right, instead of my cute shoes, I'm gonna wear my comfy shoes and here goes an adventure. I always, this is a weird thing about me. I always kind of like it when things go a little bit wrong, like not severely wrong, because then it makes an adventure. Like when the power goes out or when you don't have a car, 
or you know minor things like that okay they're officially sorting through my clothes and the closest coffee shop happens to be blue bottle so i'm walking there real quick and i'm gonna come back and find out the total literally two minutes later here we are blue bottle i got my matcha latte and we'll go see what our grand total is to spend okay i have 50 store credit i'm gonna look around one thing i've been looking for forever is an oversized white sweater so I'm gonna specifically look for that and see what other things I can find within $50 store credit. I don't know if these will fit, but they're really fun. And they're $18.50. And I think this is really cute. It says, oh hey, but it's literally half of my budget. It's $25. I found this urban dress and it's pretty mini, but it's half off, so it's $9. So I'm gonna try it on just, just for the fun of it. This is so cute, linen jumpsuit for $22. Let's try that on too. Okay, I think this is gonna be so hard because I also found this dress that I love for half my budget. So I have one, two, three, four, five things and I could probably choose two to three of them. We're gonna try them on here, decide what we think. Whatever we get, we'll go home and we'll style the exact perfect way. Okay, here is the Ohay sweatshirt. It is so soft, so soft. Oh, and I love that and it's a cute color. The inside's so soft, but I think it's too small. I think in order for this to be trendy and cute, it needs to be oversized. I think that's kind of where we're heading right now. And this little cut down in the front, I'm not a huge fan of. I think it needs to be more straight across and longer. So I'm going to likely no, unless I can't find anything I like more because it is so soft and that's the only reason. Okay, I love this. I think that the only reason, sorry, there's really loud people in here. I think that the only reason no one swooped it up is because it's, it's sheer. But I have a slip at home and I think with a slip and belted and booties and maybe a hat I don't know I think it could be really really cute it is what did I say $24 oh my gosh the tags it's never been worn I don't know how practical it is but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my most likely file and see if anything beats it but I do really like it and I think I could style it really cute the only issue with a white dress is they can't wear it to like weddings or wedding related events okay here's this jumpsuit I like it I like that it has a tie waist at my natural waist, but it is a little tight on my hips. Since it's skin colored and tight on my hips, I don't know if it's the most flattering. Most likely not, even though I love the aesthetic of this as is. Does that make sense? <laughs> Look at how short this is. <laughs> it's cute from here up. If this was like a midi dress, I'd be all over this, but that, that's, that's, that's a no. These would have fit perfectly, but the zipper's broken. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> it's okay. Though they fit perfectly, they're not the most flattering. I do love, like they're super stretchy and comfy. Don't feel like they necessarily fit me great, great. Like they fit me well, but they don't look as flattering on me as other things. So with that being said, out of all these things, the only thing I love is the dress. So I'm gonna get the dress, I'm gonna hold on to this just cause it's so soft, and then I'm gonna go look at like more basics and see what I find in the more basic section. Okay, I just found this for $18.50 and it's so sweet and so vintage. And is it the trendiest? No, but I really like it and I think I'm just gonna get it without trying it on. It leaves me $8 left. Well, I uh, miscalculated something because I was exactly a dollar and two cents off. So I am gonna go home and count how many things they actually bought because I got two things for however many things they bought and we'll go style it. I just got back home. I did a little bit of cardio today, so there's a perk. And I want to go through and see how many pieces of clothing remain so that I know how many clothes, pieces of clothing they bought. So we have one, two, three, nine. Oh, they didn't back, buy back what I bought from them. 14, so they bought five things. Uh, I for sure don't see the Madewell skirt. Oh, they bought it. I wonder if I him I took it in myself, so I guess I did a good enough job, and I guess they have people to fix things. Looks like they bought that sweatshirt, which I was kind of torn on that, but you know, it's okay. They bought the Flynn Sky skirt. Oh, they bought the maxi dress too from the flea market. I don't see that here. There's one more thing that they bought. I wonder what it was. Oh, the free people shirt that I was iffy about, the kind of colorful one. They bought the colorful free people shirt. Okay. Interesting, that's out of uh, season, but they bought it nevertheless. That's good to know, a little uh, a little look into what they may or may not buy, but they did not buy my Goodwill Free People shirt. So, I like, like the things enough that they didn't buy it to where I'm gonna still hang on to them, but I got two brand new things, being this dress and 
this shirt, which are kind of similar aesthetics. I have not even tried the shirt on yet. So let's try on and style both of these things. I think I can make the dress really cute with the slip underneath. I'm excited to try to make this work. I have on the shirt and I think it's just so sweet and so cute. And I think I actually would style it with jeans, perhaps black jeans, but these blue jeans also look good with it. I think what I would do is put my hair in a low bun, some statement earrings, and then I recently got some leather mules, and I think that that would like kind of complete a look. So let me grab those things and we could try that together. I just grabbed these earrings. I haven't found an outfit to ever wear these with yet because I feel like if done wrong, they, I don't know, could just read as like, too costumey. I feel like this top is just so sweet that it would be able to like kind of complement it nicely and read more like anthropology vibes. Like sophisticated classy young lady vibes. And for my hair, I think I would just do a low bun. I said this in a different video, but I've been trying to experiment with different ways to let my natural hair air dry and some days are a fail. Today was a fail. But a nice cute low bun. And I recently got these. They were gifted to me. I linked them in a vlog, but I can link them again in this video. They gave me a promo code, but it might be expired by now. Let me check, by the time you're seeing this at least, let me check, and if not, I'll go ahead and link it for you. But I'm going to wear these, and we'll look at the whole outfit together. This is real life, my room after uh, coming home from all of that. But this is the overall look. I do really, really like it. I feel like it is, like I said, just kind of like anthropology chic. I feel like when you put your hair in a low bun like this and some statement earrings, it just kind of makes them shine. And I also feel like with a high neck, it looks really elegant to show the rest of your neck by putting your hair up. So I like this. I feel like, I feel like this is kind of a good outfit for all ages. I could picture an 18 year old wearing this outfit and I could picture a 50 year old wearing this outfit. I feel like it's a very diverse and fun look. What a win. Okay, right, now I'm gonna quickly try on that dress with a slip and we will try to dress that up a little bit. Well, now's a really bad time for me to not be able to find my slip, but I couldn't find it. So I switched into a nude bra and I put on some kind of like light pink shorts under this for now. Um, this is what the dress looks like in whole but I want to modernize it a little bit and just kind of dress it up and style it. And so I'm going to do that by I think doing mostly black accents. And since this is like kind of a statement dress in itself, I wanna keep it kind of simple and minimal. I'm gonna start by just doing very simple minimal hoops. These were actually given to me in a vlog as well. My vlog fam knows all this. If you don't watch the vlogs, you should. We do a lot of fun things. This was given to me by Missouri, and I think these are called the editor's hoops. I really like them. They've kind of been my go-to lately. They're a good size. They're not overwhelming, but they do make just a little bit of an appearance. And I do think I would wear my hair down, but all black accents. So this might be excessive, but at least for like the perfect fall shoot, I would probably wear a black hat with this. And then to you know, make it a little more every day. You could skip the hat. And I have a black belt, not in karate. <laughs> this is actually another one of my great grandma's belts. I've been given quite a few of her belts and I've been wearing them all the time lately. So I would wear this around the natural waist of this dress. Adding a little waist definition always helps the dress. And then for the shoes, the tie in all the black. I hope I don't read like witchy, but oop. I would, I think wear these black boots for like the ultimate kind of like fall winter look. I'm gonna find some socks real quick, put these on and we'll look at the overall outfit. All right, this is the final look for that outfit. I think the slit really does help the dress stay a little more modern with the super high neck and the super long sleeves, but I think it's very sweet, very fall. I think that the black boots and the black belts are essential, but you could totally wear this without the hat too if you're not a hat person. I'm not very often a hat person, so it feels out of my comfort zone, but this is just a little more, you know, Instagram-y, I suppose. That is this one overall, and I think that the earrings are a nice little gold detail, tie it in the gold belt a little. Pretty pleased with this purchase. I'm glad I went ahead and got it. And even without the slip, I know there's a little bit of gaping here. I can maybe just wear a tank underneath it, but at least it's not reading as sheer at all. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I have so much fun with you guys always. If you have a very unique thrifting idea, let me know because I feel like I've been getting into these like kind of unique challenge ideas and I like it and I wanna keep it up. So let me know if you have anything in mind. I love hanging out with you and I just love you with my whole heart. If you like hanging out as much as I do, if you wanna press subscribe, 
I would love that. That means we would most likely not miss hanging out with each other. I'll see y'all in the next Sip and Thrift or a different video very soon. Bye!